Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Caslow and I'm the Outdoor Water Monitoring Specialist for YSI. And I'm Dr. Stephanie Smith. I'm the Product Segment Manager for YSI's Integrated Systems and Services. Today, we're going to show you how to put together a floating nutrient monitoring system with our Exo NitroLED sensor and YSI's DB600 buoy. So I'll start off by showing you the ins and outs of our NitroLED sensor and our Exo platform, and then I'm going to hand it off to Stephanie to install in that DB600 buoy. So first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our fantastic addition to the EXO platform, the NitroLED sensor. My good buddy Nate is also here to help show us how to use this sensor. The NitroLED sensor pairs state-of-the-art LED technology with the EXO turbidity sensor to provide real-time nitrate data as part of the EXO platform. This sensor truly simplifies long-term nitrate monitoring. With the powerful combination of the Exo NitroLED, Total Algae, and Big 5 sensors, you can have a complete nutrient-based water monitoring solution in a super easy to deploy package. As far as some specifications go, you can see that the sensor is small and it fits really well in my hand. It was designed to measure between 0.1 to 10 milligrams per liter. Check out our spec sheet for more information. The NitroLED sensor is easy to install amongst the other sensors. You simply align the pins and screw the retaining nut into the EXO bulkhead. What's really cool is that the sensor will be auto-recognized by the Sondon software as soon as it's installed. For anti-fouling, we have developed a strong wiper brush capable of handling some of the most intense biological and sediment-based fouling. Here's how the NitroLED wiper brush looks when it is fully installed. The dual bristle brush on the NitroLED wiper brush was designed to ensure that both sensor faces of the NitroLED sensor are totally clean during each wipe cycle. Calibration is simple and uses two standards, a zero milligram per liter standard like DI or distilled water and either a five or a 10 milligram per liter NitroLED standard. First you calibrate the zero and then you calibrate that higher standard just like you would with other EXO sensors with two point calibrations. A site-specific correction can also be performed on the sensor to make it read even more accurately at your site. For additional information on this procedure, be sure to check out our technical note. During your field maintenance trips, wiping the sensors off with a lint-free cloth should get them in tip-top shape. You can also use some mild soap to clean off any stubborn debris. When you're thinking about being done for the season, simply clean off the sensor and store it in a dry location. Common deployment locations for the sensor are in streams and rivers, canals, irrigation ditches along fields, drinking water reservoirs, and more. From pipe deployments to sans on buoys, if you have a need for a nitrate sensor in a freshwater monitoring environment, NitroLED is for you. So, now that we've got this sensor all calibrated and corrected to our site water, let's go deploy it. Hi everybody, Stephanie here, ready to tell you about the great DB600 buoy. And here comes Nate with our song. Thank you, Nate. So I'm really excited to tell you about how we're gonna use this song for nutrient monitoring with this platform. As a reminder, we got this song ready to do some nutrient monitoring. Nate and Carrie got it ready with the great NitroLED sensor. We have the total algae sensor dissolved oxygen, pH, and turbidity on here. All of this is gonna help us in our nutrient monitoring. But I wanna tell you about the DB600. The DB600 platform has three main parts. There's the all-in-one telemetry system, there's a sond tube, and there's a float. That's all there is to it. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I did have to do a little work before we came out to the field to put the all-in-one telemetry unit together, and you're gonna have to do that too. So let's talk about the all-in-one telemetry unit. The all-in-one telemetry unit has this sealed tube that contains all the data logging and electronic components. It also contains the cellular modem that is gonna help me send my data to Hydrosphere. I had to attach these solar panels. So it came with these metal brackets. I attached the solar panels on either side, I also put on the beacon and I put on the bird spikes. I also had to attach this bracket to the bottom. This is what I'm going to use to attach it to the sawn tube 
when we thread that through the buoy. Notice that this has this wing nut because I'll be undoing this to reach the on button to turn it on before we get started. It also has an XO wet mate connector. This will take the XO field cable that we're going to use to connect the telemetry unit to the sond. So that's the all-in-one unit. The second part of the DB600 buoy is, as we said earlier, the sond tube. This is where the sond is going to thread through, and then we're going to use that one meter field cable to connect the sond to the all-in-one unit. And the third component is, of course, the DB600 float. This is a super light float. I can carry it out here with no problem. In fact, I can carry each of these pieces out here with no problem. So now we are ready to put this whole system together. Now, I could get everything out here by myself, but it is a little gangly once you start putting it all together. So Nate is gonna give me a hand doing this. We also thought it would be fun to time us to see how long it takes because it really is a very simple system to put together. So I've asked my friends over here to time us. You guys want to give us a countdown? All right, hang on just a second. All right, you ready, Nate? We got this, right? Okay, give us a countdown. Three, two, one. All right, so I think that took us about five and a half minutes. We are going to put on our vests. Let's carry this thing over to the water. All right, Nate, you grab one side, I'll grab the other. For more information about the NitroLED sensor or our ExoSon platform, or about the DB600 buoy, visit us at YSI.com. Thanks for watching and happy monitoring, everybody. <laughs>